Next on the list and news that I've been eager to report on and news I've been eager to kind of just read myself, Popeyes in Westfield Stratford has finally opened. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I mentioned before on the show, I'm a big fan of Popeyes. I've only been there once. So I'm a big fan. <laughs> yeah. Um, and obviously Popeyes, like I said, has a special place in my heart because it was the first American fast food establishment I visited on my first lads holiday when I was about 18 to 19. Me and some friends of mine went on a big lads holiday to New York of all places. The home of Supreme, the home of skateboarding, the home of hip hop. Yeah, the home of streetwear in general. We had an absolute blast of a time. We drank 40s on the street. We smoked weed on the rooftops. <gasps> we did spray paint. We spray painted buildings and got chased by the police. <gasps> right? Some of us kissed girls in flipping Santos party. Was it was it Santos party house, right? That club? Santos party house or something, right? We did all that shit. It was amazing. We went to Mishka and bowled out. No, actually, the boys, no, the, the rest of the boys went to Mishka because I think one of the guys I was with was doing like a project or something with them. They went to Mishka and shit. Oh, man, what a great time. So, so anyway, I remember going to New York and obviously um, at the time, I was only one of the few people who actually decided to save some money to go because a lot of people just went with whatever money they had, they had on their person. But then the benefit of, of going to a holiday like that when you're young and some people have money, some people don't, is that you will pull your resources. So if someone doesn't have too much money, you buy them a drink, you get them an entry to a club, you pay for their cloakroom, whatever you can do to support. Everyone's always chipping in, so it's always good. So everyone's covered. As long as you've got your accommodation, you're basically blessed. We'll jump in the bar balances and shit. It was just a fun time. So I remember when one night we were about to go out and we went to get some food to flip an eat and shit and i decided oh i want to go to popeyes um and this was but i think this might have been before the, the um, what was it oh, it was like no, it doesn't matter we went to popeyes for the first time i ordered like a box of like you know i think i got like a box of chicken tenders or something like that or chicken strips with some chips in it and i also got some or oh, some fries and I, it also came with like a um, with like a cookie thing or a biscuit thing i forgot what the name is called and that's some gravy right and I remember eating that and have only wanting, and again, in a massive drink. I remember the drink was fucking gargantuan size, right? Especially compared to what we have in the UK. I remember having three chicken strips and a couple of fries and I was four. And I literally handed the box over to my friends who didn't have anything to eat, who, or who didn't bother, who didn't want to go eat or didn't want to spend money. And legitimately, I turned around and that thing was feeding like six people. I was like, wow, man. The American portions are wild. Don't get me wrong, because you can get a box full of chicken in here in the UK. We are we're, we're, we are very well known, especially in London, for our flipping hot wings. But they're not to a level of what you can get in America. They're flipping, you know, little tiny nugget type shaped things. But their strips were like, you know, was that the size of my flipping forearm? Do you know what I mean? It was a fucking massive, massive strip. I'm sure they called them boneless chicken wings, but they're not boneless chicken wings. It's basically a chicken tender. You know what I mean? Um... Because technically a bonus chicken wing would be what? A chicken tender anyway. So I don't know why they think core things bonus chicken tender. Uh, strange. But anyway, regardless of that, but I think they just put the word bonus in the menu so that if you don't like bones and you're one of those weirdos that I don't like bones, I don't like pieces. Yeah, it feels squidgy in my mouth. Water, I don't like the taste of water. If you're not one of those flipping crybabies, then you're not going to get triggered by the word. Um, you're not going to get triggered by... Uh, yeah, you, if you're one of those babies, then maybe the word boneless is a good trigger point for you to then buy it because you know you don't have to think. You just have to keep biting and chucking into your you know, esophagus and you're fucking fine. You don't even chew. Straight into your esophagus. But anyway, continuing on, Popeyes is now open shop shop here. Here in London. And this is a review courtesy of The Mirror. It says, I went to the UK's first Popeyes and tried the chicken and sandwich that broke the internet. Do you remember that? There was a period in time, wasn't life simple back then, before all the flipping racial tensions and the scandals online, all that sort of nonsense and kids shooting adults, you know, protests and whatnot and guys getting shot in their back as they're running away from their assailants, all this nonsense. It was a simple time where people were queuing and fighting outside of Popeye's chicken. There was a time where people were, remember there was a time, again, think about this, there was a time where people were reselling Popeye chicken sandwiches. I remember that. I remember reading and seeing videos of people in America saying that people were reselling Popeye's chicken sandwiches. There was videos of people in drive throughs queuing outside of Popeye's to get them. People were quitting their Popeye's jobs on the spot because customers are being rude and harassing them and all this sort of shit. Customers are fighting in the store. People were cutting in front of them in line and shit. It was a dark time, but a simple time, a much simpler time. 
Anyway, it continues. It says, when it comes to fast food restaurants, there are thousands of them dotted. Louisiana, Louisiana chicken chain. Lo, so it's from Louisiana. I didn't know that. Um, that's home of um, Fia Vaughan, isn't it? And Popeyes is setting up shop in Westford Stratford Shopping Centre, opening a business on Saturday, November 20. And the fast food will also be available on Deliveroo. Hallelujah. Because who likes to go to fucking Westford Stratford? Not me. Not me. Westford Stratford is shopping was like, I wish it was around when I was 18. Because I would have loved it. Because that was what we did when I was younger. You'd get dressed up. You'd go to the shopping mall with two pounds to your name. And you'd try and chat up girls unsuccessfully. You'd go to JD Sports and look at stuff you can't afford to buy. Go into Foot Locker and look at, stuff, look at stuff you definitely cannot afford to buy. And then you'd go home or you'd go back. Maybe if you had some money left. Or maybe if you actually had some money, you might get a haircut. Or you might go. Actually, what actually happened, you'd go get some chicken. Um, at, at flipping, you know, like a boss man. Or maybe at the... During the time of you walking around the shopping mall, someone will let you know and say, hey, shh, there's a house party happening down the street. And you'd think you'd have to decide whether or not the house party was a setup, whether or not it was an actual time to catch a good wine or catch a quick wine. You don't know. You don't know. Am I going to get rushed in someone's living room in the middle of Forrest Gate? Or am I going to be able to catch a quick wine off this little lighty? What's going to happen? You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Let's continue here. It says customers will be able to get their hands on it um, for the menu. <laughs> Sorry, including um, wings, bites, tenders, and an iconic chicken sandwich that broke the internet when it launched in 2019. As well as the chicken, the first ever Popeye's chicken. We also serve Cajun chips, mash. Wow. Mac and cheese, biscuits with Cajun gravy. That's what I got when I, when I went to New York. Um, they're also introducing a brand new and exclusive vegan burger, the Creole red bean sandwich. Mama mia. If it weren't enough, there's also a wide section of sauces accompanying the food, such as mango habanero in collaboration with Megan Thee Stallion on a hot sauce called Hottie. Mate, isn't that the biggest load of bullshit ever? Why are all these hot um, rapper girls selling us fast food? You don't eat that shit. You can't look like Megan Thee Stallion and Sweetie. You can't be that attractive, that well built, that well endowed, right? Body wise and be eating Popeyes and McDonald's every single day. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Not even every single day. Maybe every other weekend you're not eating it. Why are they lying to us? Or not us, to the girls specifically. And why do girls lap that shit up? I never, I've, it never really made sense to me. Like why like a really fit and trim former gymnast former supermodel girl on instagram that also sells um books on how to lose weight has 120 has like 1.7 million followers like why her advice is kind of not flawed but it's a bit it's a bit it's a bit like pointless she's got a base of athlet athletics in her family or she's an athlete herself she spent most of her life you know earning money looking hot in front of a camera being a supermodel how is she going to give you any advice or any kind of inkling into what it means to lose weight or what it means to be a little bit rotund to be a little bit fluffy and edgy she has no experience of it she's been like me she's there's never been a, a day in her life where she hasn't had a six-pack and here she is selling you a guide on how to look good in the bikini come on give do yourself a favor give your head a wobble it continues with mirrors courtney Puchin was invited what's her name courtney Puchin. Courtney Pochin was invited down to head of the launch. Here's what she thought. Um, she said, until last weekend, you pop as a duh, 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 repeating the same thing. Um, the CEO says something. Let's talk about the food. Uh, duh, duh, duh. It says here, the quote, at Popeyes, we focus on the quality of the ingredients. Cool, I guess you do. It says here, um, these things. Duh, duh, duh. Okay, there. There's one. Then there's good mayo, pickles, and the crucial part. I think the components keep it under super simple. It's focus on the quality and keep the price right at four ninety five, which is a fucking good price for a chicken sandwich because a regular chicken sandwich from a boss man is probably about the same size, probably about the same price. Maybe, maybe it's three ninety five. You're not gonna get a chicken burger for that much cheaper. Chicken sandwich was definitely an upgrade on my regular, on your average fast food fare. And I'd even go as far as saying the claim is better than McDonald's. Sorry, the chicken sandwich or a KFC Philip burger. I'm already craving another one. Wow. That's a big, big um, endorsement because chicken burgers here in the UK aren't that great, especially especially ones that, you know, from the hood and shit, from like a boss man. But the ones that are usually the standard bearers are KFC. They've got a sick, sick, sick chicken sandwich. I think so. I've not actually tried the, the McDonald's one, but the, the KFC fillet burger is fucking not banging. That mini fillet already is fucking really good. So I, just imagine what the KFC burgers are when you add the top of the, 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 the Zinger top, whatever it is, whatever. Those ones are really nice as well. So if this is better than the KFC one, this is definitely really, really good. And for four ninety five, oof. It says once Popeye opens, you'll be able to try it for yourself with a classic spicy sandwich 
average price at four ninety five or seven ninety five with a meal and a regular side. But yeah, look at that food. Look how much you get there. That's a big portion of food. That's why I ordered when I went to South New York on my own. Did I mention I went to New York? <laughs> um, it continues as well as giving chicken sandwich a try. Peter Gainer, the director of the Global Culinary Division and Product Development, Popeyes uh, recommends um, ordering the signature Louisiana chicken with a pot of Mardi Gras mustard and a lattice biscotche biscoff shake to wash it down. Oh. Oh, that's that biscuit, isn't it? That that's that biscuit. That's that um nice. They've got a shake made of that biscuit. Oh, 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 it's good. The signature chicken meal, five ninety five for a two piece, contains chicken on the bone, marinated for twelve hours in the company's signature blend of Louisiana herbs and spices on one side, one drink and one biscuit. And if you're getting biscuits, then simply just must order a pot of Cajun gravy to go with it. Biscuits and gravy are incredibly popular in the US, but the concept is bound to baffle some customers here. Once you get over the initial feeling of the amusement, drown your plate in Cajun gravy. But yeah, you can see that chicken's good. That's definitely an upgrade to what you'd get from a boss man because that doesn't look like it's oiling up the tr- the, the, the paper one of the things that's a you know unfortunate about a boss man chicken is that it's fucking soggy as fucking you know the bottom of your fucking box is absolutely see-through but this you can tell it's dry it's crispy but it still looks succulent i really want some already what's the verdict it says she says here ultimately i would say popeye's convert she said i was a popeye's convert and i'm excited for everyone to have a chance to taste it i like how she keeps mentioning she got to try it before in it like subliminally he said the prices are pretty generous for the portion sizes and the fried chicken was super crunchy and full of flavor with the hot wings and spicy sandwiches packing a real kick. I love the Popeyes is staying true to its American roots and offering customers something that's familiar but also completely different with more usual with more unusual items on the menu like biscuits and gravy. And also it's worth noting that the company, while being an iconic American brand, is going to be sourcing 95% of its ingredients locally in the UK instead of importing to the US. They've also signed a better chicken commitment which aims to improve the lives of chicken fuck off dude dude dude, honestly give yourself a fucking a head wobble like what is this is this chicken rights or some shit is this what we're we're talking about come on if you enjoy yeah okay cool but yeah i'm definitely gonna go check it out and then of course the sun burn the sun murderers scumbags but anyway this is a kind of a a check on the the collection and what it looks like I'm assuming that's some sort of shake. That's a burger, the biscuit with the pie. I think that's a mash. Maybe that's a mash. That's a gravy. More chicken stuff here. Pieces, tenders, blah, 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 blah. You know the deal. You know the vibe. Chicken from Popeye's coming at you very, very soon. Get involved. Don't delay today.